excuse me, Season Salt bringing you here game one of World Alliance versus Team Fight. As soon as we load up, we're going to be bringing you the team lineups. Well, I'm getting okay, potato so lag. So I think I'm in before you, so I'm going to stop when it's actually it's all synchronizing zero. right now. It's just counting up. Yeah, I'm going to wait until it counts up, and then I'll start with you. Sounds good. All right, so we'll take a look at the starting lineups here. For Team Fight, we have Pantak playing Persephone Helm, being played by Moonlight Punch. Valox being played by Cox0717. Alanda's being played by Zabi, uh, Zabi, Zabi, SJZ. Sia pl uh, being played by DHO81701. And for World Alliance, we have Moshi playing Elf, Actino playing Efren, Helm being played by MTS Amazing, Sugar Daddy playing Daliana, and Persephone being played by Helino. And now the game has officially started. We are counting up one second in. And let's go. Let's do this. I'm here with Clash. Played for World Alliance. Had his games early today. Nice enough to hang by and uh, co-cast with me. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Thank you. Thank you. So they are using the Persephone. I was just talking about that. Two very competitive teams here, Team Fight. Just coming off of a fantastic win earlier today. Excuse me, earlier yesterday, that is. No. I'm going to be moving up and down here looking for some action. Looks like Sia has found Helm out here in the jungle. DHO and... Uh, MTS are duking Ooh. out over those spiders. And she actually took the CS from me. Mm -hmm. Sugar Daddy 2015. Laning here against Balond is pretty... Pretty even match up there. I don't see too much going on there unless somebody comes down for the gank. I haven't seen... Did Adrian lane last game as well um yes the final game in his last series he did lane yeah and there we go I like moshi with the stun helm with the charge there goes the slow and it looks like they're gonna pick up first blood moshi bringing it home for world alliance and unfortunately actino in a lot of trouble here valox gonna catch him with the slow but actually it looks like it valox won't be able to finish up that one Take a look though, Sugar Daddy, around the corner. At Tino's um, tree is actually really deadly. I've played with him in rank with that. We'll see it. He's really, really good with him. Sugar Daddy on the it. hunt. Looks like he's gonna peel off for now. Let's see. I'm 235 in, right? We're at the same time? Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm just watching the CS at the moment, seeing that Persephone oh, look at that. is actually up. DHO. Catching amazing. Almost taking him down there in that uh, mid river. Looks like that's going to force a buyback there. So they need to be careful with these buybacks because they're going to be slowing down the farm here overall. Total gold lead. Still relatively even. If it's an indication on. Uh, what team fight is capable of is keeping it close. I like Sia in jungle. Like I tell you, but I think she's like a bully. Well, she, but you know, even with her trail, that makes her like extremely annoying to have to confront. You know, and it's such a cramped space. People are just, you know, you're bound to run into something. Oh boy, look at that sugar oh. daddy in a lot of trouble. Valox with the whirlwind. Efren does have the heal up. Actino gonna throw the chase. He's silenced. I don't think it's worth the chase. Valox is somebody that you just gotta play around. Because once he gets fed or he gets tanky as heck, it's just like useless to even wanna hit him. 
DHO taking some harassment there. Moshi all up in that jungle. Looks like he's going to take a peek around. Uh oh. Running into Pantac. There goes the stun. The backup is there. Nice blink. The slow comes in and the charge. Moshi gets another Ooh. kill. Persephone goes down. World Alliance 2 0 right now. That was nice. Looking pretty good. Sugar Daddy has to charge back underneath the tower. As Valox. That whirlwind can be quite a nuisance. Valox to me is just an, a very annoying champion to have to go against. The only thing I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying to figure out why is why does Team Fight have really no true carry? And they didn't use Persephone as their carry. Yeah, their they they, carry. they went with a much tankier build. Yeah. Their whole team comp. Yeah, this is the first match, Majo. Yeah, the only problem is, I mean, the one good thing about this. Oh, comp Sugar Daddy's is, going in. As soon as they cage. Oh, she gets Ooh. another kill on Persephone, and it looks like Sugar Daddy's trying to seal the deal here on Belandis, and it looks like he's catching up. Oh, it does get stunned. Oh, nice blink. And it does look like Sugar Daddy gets that kill. So 4-0 right now for World Alliance. Despite having this tanky team, they're not being able they're not able to really make anything of it. Helm dangerously low here. Having trouble sidestepping the uh the stun. Ooh. And they go sugar down. Oh, I didn't catch it. Sugar does get taken down. I see Valox with the whirlwind. Yeah, he caught him. He caught him. He was actually trying to take the red camp in. He was close to dying and one hit away from actually getting the red buff. Well, I think he actually got it. It's just Valox just came in a good time. Mm -hmm. Just gotta watch out for that Valix. Digging a peek here at this top side. Uh, you can see Helino is holding it, holding it down. Oh. Some pressure here on the mid side. Three man siege on this tower. It's going to go down. Actino. Just his presence there is like a body block. Oh boy. MTS amazing. Thought he was going to go in there and start charging. Guns blazing. Huh. What are you doing? Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Two towers ready down. All right, one to four. We'll see where it goes. Thirty up and five thousand gold. Oh, Halino, in a little bit of trouble. Helm, doing some damage. There goes the Persephone ultimate right on. Oh no, Halino needed to be careful. He almost got caught there. Nice job. Picking up a kill there, taking down Helm. Here comes Moshi. Sia trying to blink away. Team fight in all sorts of trouble here. Sia gets taken down. Six to one right now. Moshi is four zero in one in this game. That is a really bad person to feed. Yeah, Moshi's probably the worst per if I could out of most people that I've played with, the worst person to have fed. It doesn't matter what champion Moshi plays. He gets fed. It's gonna go down. It's I mean, it's it's over for you. Might as well just flush your phone down the toilet. <laughs> Might as well just surrender right then and there. Yeah. Consider it done. Impossible. And no deaths. Already got the claymore. So, with Elf. King Killer or the Jade Axe first? Jade Axe. It's just it's just a typical build. Everybody does. It's just you you build the Jade Axe. It's because mainly sometimes during the game you already have that defense. It's 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 cheaper. Yeah. To buy that item. Not only that, you still get that damage. Plus, if they decided they want to do the defense, you're going through the defense as well. That's good. I mean, sometimes people think that oh, you know. Why build that at times just because oh. they're not going to build defense that early, but it's like, no, it gives you that head start. World Alliance does take the dragon. So you're saying that the flat damage and the armor pen is worth more than the King Killer early game? Yes. 
And it's, it's not typically... Oh, look at that. Moonlight Punch going to get evaporated ooh. there in the jungle, getting ganked by the four-man squad. Team fight. Slow it's to respond. Not, it's not the armor pierce. It's the armor. Oh. Here comes Moshi. Just ignoring the armor. With the ultimate. Oh, Look special. at that. Sidestepping the trail, but ends up getting caught there. The tower does take <laughs> a pot shot. It was close. I'm just nervous about that Valix. Oh. Valix is so good at early game. Like, as soon as he hits six, it's like it's so oh scary. Oh boy, here we go. Team fight underneath the tower. This is good. Moshi does manage to take a kill. See, it goes down. That tower is just... You need to be careful. Molino does take out his opposing Persephone. And there's so much time... Oh, the ultimate. That was nice. That is a very good ultimate there. The tower takes out Helino, and now Moshi and Helino are dead. A very sloppy team fight here. Ten minutes in. And team fight have pretty much walked right back into this game. Now Sugar Daddy's going to disengage. There goes the ultimate. It's going to stun him, but there's going to be no more follow-up as Sugar Daddy is allowed to walk away. That that cage is what made it happen. Yeah. That, that cage. That was a really good cage. And look at that. Significant gold bonus for them for getting all those pe getting the two most dangerous people out of the way. So this is the uh, situation that World Alliance finds themselves in. A very solid team all around. If they could just work out some of these random errors that they, you know, this overconfidence that they have, they need to be a little more humble. Because then team fights like that are very common for them. Where yeah, what it is, what it is, is they they sometimes it's, it's oh boy, hockey's, they get too comfortable staying in lane a little bit too long. How you always say over, overstaying there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Overstaying that's what they their like welcome. Yeah, that's, they, they that, really like to that, stay that, in there. That's what catches them. Looks like Valox is going to be the subject of some attention, but I really just don't think he's a good target. Let him walk away. You know what I'm saying? Let Valox go. He's going to lead you to his team anyway. Now look at that. They got on Belandis. He's in a lot of trouble. Sugar Daddy looks like he's going to be able to finish it. Moshi does pick up a kill on Sia. Again, Moshi has had Sia's name, name this entire time. Nice ultimate there. That's going to trap them. And uh, Belandis is going to thankfully be able to get away with his life. 4 to 10 right now. World Alliance in the lead. 6,000 gold. And two towers. Two towers ahead of Team like, Fight, that is. I like the whole fact that a lot of Galaxies, what they like to do is as soon as they see somebody, they automatically taunt. And I like the fact that he saves his taunt for actually, like, the good. Like, he times it. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't mm -hmm. just waste the taunt. Just, hey, let's just taunt him. And there we go, boys. Mechanics. The Team Fight is being forced here on the spot side. It looks like Team Fight is going to have no choice but to commit here. Sugar Daddy in a little bit of trouble, but it looks like Kalino is going to be able to get the kill. Helm goes down, and World Alliance now starting to mop up the rest of the team. Helm picks up a kill on Belandis, and now this five-man siege looks like it's going to grant them another tower. It's going to be their fifth tower here, 1244 on the clock. Nearing the 10,000 gold lead, Helm charging in, and was that worth it? Looks like... Oh. You can see that MTS is going to pop that heal. MTS and this, I love watching MTS play Helm on the train tournament. A lot of fun. He's a beast on the Helm. Strike while the iron is hot. See Daliana coming up. Daliana's going for that gink. Yeah, uh, I think Helm's Helm. gonna. 
There she goes. Gets the CS. Goes right in. Helm does land the stun, and I think that's going to have to be a, a... I don't think Daliana should chase that anymore. D is coming up. They're winning these team fights, but like you just got to be careful. Now you can see that uh, Actino has shown himself there. Moshi picks up a kill on Belandis, and now they're split up. Actino, the tank, is not with Daliana. And he's going to willingly throw himself in the fire. He's going to get stunned. Uh, you know, they could have just had a soft reset and wait for the collapse, but we'll see where this goes. Looks like Sugar Daddy's doing enough damage there. Can he come away with the kill? There goes a nice ultimate by Halino. And Valox. Helm get taken down there. So, awkward engagement uh, aside, they still managed to take two more kills off a team fight. And now, Actino needs to uh, get out of there because Persephone's doing quite a bit of damage herself. Pantac. He's 0 5 and 0, unfortunately, at this time. 7 1 6 for Moshi. 0 0 10 for Actino. 5 1 and 5 for Halino. Sugar Daddy 3 1 and 5. And Pantak is there by himself, is going to get stunned and virtually annihilated there. Moshi picking up another kill. 15 30 on the clock. And like we said earlier, feeding Moshi is just the worst thing possible. Strike while the iron is hot. Once he gets that bow, it's going to be pretty much GG, in my eyes. He's going to be pushing out way too much damage this early. And they don't have enough defense to even try to withhold it. Another kill there, Helino taking down Sia. Sia, the GOAT right now, she is just getting murked everywhere she goes. The same can be said for all members of Team Fight right now because they're not able to do anything. Sia is going to offer herself up to the gods again. Helino taking another kill. Sugar Daddy taking out Helm. Getting a double kill with Valox as well. There goes a Belandis ultimate, but that's probably just going to do nothing but serve himself on a platter. Helino taking that kill for himself. The siege continues. Sugar Daddy should probably go back. Helm charges right in, grabs a heal, and Sugar Daddy almost gets taken down by the tower there. And there goes the chase. Moshi gets taken down, Sugar Daddy gets taken down, and another weird team fight leaves World Alliance in shambles. In, in my eyes, um, no. seeing Team Fight build that whole Helm, um, him building Herms, I, I think that's all meta. Uh, I haven't really seen that much with anybody really building that, and I think that's actually kind of a bad idea because, I mean, he, he doesn't have enough health to even stay in the Team Fight. Yeah. Comparing, if you see uh, the other Helm, he has way more than almost probably double his health already. Not only that, his ulti is based off his health. Oh, he's got Don't 600. Know what he's thinking. He's got 600 more. Uh, amazing has 16. Uh, 600 more health. It cannot be done. And uh, yeah, Moonlight's at 2280. All right. The World Alliance right now having a little bit of difficulty with these uh, these team fights. They're not staying together all the time. When they do stay together, they're pulling away with wins. But uh, every time they start splitting up, it goes awry for them. Like right here, you have Helm and uh, Tree hanging out in this mid lane. And it looks like Sugar Daddy may have been spotted. And here we go. See, case point. 3v1. No reason to be there by yourself. Sugar Daddy goes down, blinks into a tree, and dies. 
Persephone does get a kill there on Valox. I still think it's kind of a win-win. Even if Sugar Daddy died, it's still a fact that he had belonged to see that ultimate. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Well, now this team fight is definitely going in Way's favor. Alino working on the tower, going to take that down. And there we go. Also getting a kill on Sia. Helm has to charge away. Looks like that's going to be it. Moshi picking up another kill. 25 to 8 in favor of World Alliance. And they're looking like they're getting ready to shut down this game. Nice ultimate by Pantak. He's going to land the stun as well. And World Alliance needs to be careful. They're overstaying their welcome. Sugar Daddy's going to get taken down again. And another weird team fight. Leaves Pantak slowly starting to pick up the pieces. There goes the double kill. Pantak starting to get crazy. Belanda's taking a kill. He's going to go down, unfortunately, so it's going to be a trade there. And they're just going back and forth. This is such an ugly team fight here that's left a lot of people dead. And looks like Pantak is going to take, excuse me, Helino is going to take down Sia. And it looks like now their reign is finally over as all this blood and guts leaves way on top again. Helm, catch this Alino sleeping. Hello. But Actino's there with the heal. And it looks like they're going to start targeting him. So can uh, Actino get out of the way? Get out of the way. I mean, what do you make of this, this team fight situation? How come they're having so much difficulty I, closing the game? I, I just think it's it's a little bit too early to push, but I mean, sometimes it works. I mean, if you push hard, you push fast, sometimes you can stop them from coming back by, you know, stopping their builds or them just struggling building defense. But I, I don't know. I just feel like they're they're picking the wrong team fights because what they're doing is they're, they're singling certain heroes out. And the whole point is, the whole Belong is, Belong is just... That whole silence is, is, is really key. It's devastating, to yeah. It, it, and, it, and it can destroy you, but it can also still, regardless even with the Belondis doing that, it's just them fighting at home right by the base. It's easy for them to either, one, if they die, they can come right back and they're just right there. There's no point of me waste five seconds, ten seconds, you know, a minute getting from one side to the other. You know what I'm saying? So, so right now, Pantak has handicapped himself by building Tanky. And... Looks like he that, that tanking means nothing as he goes down. Way catches him sleeping. And now they're going to start making what looks like a very big push inside. Yeah, I was I was even questioning that too as well. Like looking at his build while he's doing it. Like what is he? I've, I've never seen anybody build the perception that way ever. So, I mean, maybe he knows something I don't. But... As of right now, I don't think it's worth Oh, nice ultimate. It is going to cost him his life, though. There's nothing he can do there, especially when your whole team is not there. And it looks like they're going to start a... So. It looks like it's going to be GG, boys. 23 minutes in. And I think they're probably just going to wrap this up. Helm does get taken down. But it is just too late for them. So many minions pouring into the base. And that's going to be it, boys. Those are the final touches to the tower. Time of death, 23.35. And team fight take that first match.